The U.S. military now saying it will look into any potential misconduct on the part of that American soldier. But tonight, many are asking, did the White House dig into any of this before the controversial decision to let those Taliban detainees go in exchange? Well, this evening, the president is now firing back at his critics. And ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, is traveling with the president in Poland. Here in Europe, to talk about defending our allies, the president found himself defending his own decision to strike a deal with the Taliban. Regardless of the circumstances, whatever those circumstances may uh, turn out to be, we still get an American soldier back if he's held in captivity. But much of what the White House said initially about the deal for Sergeant Bergdahl is now in question. First, there's Bergdahl himself. On Sunday, the administration portrayed him as something of a hero. He served the United States with honor and distinction. But today, the news is the Army is preparing to investigate him. How about the five Taliban released in the deal just yesterday? The transfer of these detainees did not pose uh, a significant threat to the United States. But today? Is there the possibility of uh, some of them trying to return to uh, activities that are detrimental to us? Absolutely. Finally, there's Bergdahl's father, growing his beard till his son was freed, clearly willing to do anything to help. He joined the president in the Rose Garden Saturday to announce the release. Since then, we've learned that last week he tweeted directly to a Taliban spokesman, quote, I am still working to free all Guantanamo prisoners. God will repay for the death of every Afghan child. David, for all the criticism and second guessing the White House is facing about making a deal with the Taliban, and there's been even more than they expected, the president's top advisors insist it was an easy call. As one senior official told me tonight, any other president would have done the same thing. David. Jonathan Carl in Poland tonight. John, thank you.